Hello everyone, this is ASMR Studio welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. And today I'll show you this type of fantasy manipulation tutorial. And I'll show you how to do that and how to match with the other stuffs and do like that. So I have given the post in my YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. So today I'm just making this video tutorial for you guys. Those who are interested about the fantasy manipulations or compositing or this type of editing so here i made some things let's discuss about that at first i'll turn off this one and here the background so step by step i'll show you all the things here's the background and the fox the heels a little bit and the lights and the wings and then the color lookup and then the shadow and here the light of the girl and here this girl the png image and this one the moon and finally another gradient map and the nick collection and the other effects and then the sharpness amount of sharpness increasing so stay tuned and do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification let's start the tutorial go to the file and take a new options here i'll take uh, 2000 by 2000 and pixel density 300 pixel per inch and you'll get a new canvas and then go to the file and place embedded options i'll take this one and tick button rename this one bg for the background and then right press restylize layer go to the file and place embedded again and here is a heel and increase the heel size yeah that's fine and hit the tick button and then right press restylize the layer and rename this one and then mask it after masking this one i'll reduce this portion and lower portion so go to the gradient options and take this gradient and select this one linear and press the shift button and just delete those portion so I'll take a little bit just a little bit and the color is not matches that's why I'll go to the adjustment layer and the hue saturation and mask it and desaturate this one to match with the color of the background and hit the ok button and then just select these two things make it group and give the group name hill or you can give the name mountain whatever you want so if you need you can down the opposite a little bit yeah after that go to the file and place embedded options and here is the fog that is the png and i'll add here so yeah that's fine and hit ok and here is a line so i want to reduce this one right press Restylize the layer, give the name fog. So, after that, mask it and I'll reduce this portion. So, go to the gradient. So, here and mask this one. So, now this one is adjust with the background. So, after that, go to the file and place embedded options. And here, I just uh, made a png so and right press and press the shift button and just select this one and reduce the size and make it like that so that's fine and hit the tick button and then right press restyle the layer and give the name girl so that is the fog and this one is the girl that's good and then i'll Take a new blank layer right press and create clipping mask and after clipping mask and i'll add the shadow actually so go to the upper palette here i'll take the dark red color so that's good and hit the brush that is the brush size 125 pixel and zero density hardness zero percent so brush over here before that 
increase the opacity a little bit and flow a little bit and, and brush over here so if you need you can change the brush size by pressing third bracket opening and closing so it's up to you so that's good and zoom it in and brush here so this portion will be more darker than the other side so that's good and take just new blank layer above of the fog layer and then press d for the reset the color palette and now i'll give the shadow stone so here here will be the shadow that's good and go here and black color as well as in this portion just because of this one is the bottom of the girl so it will be more darker and here as well so that's fine so when you are giving the shadow be careful the shadow would be more realistic so that's good if you need you can change the opacity up and down so here as well so that's good i'll make the group of the girl okay that's fine and now go to the file and place embedded options and i'll in import this one the wings so hit the tick button and i'll take these wings so go to the rectangular marquee tool and select this portion only that's fine right press and restylize the layer and press ctrl j and delete the background one okay here is another thing so i have to delete this one so select this the wings and delete this press ctrl d for the deselect if you need to change the size press ctrl t and place this one into here so that's good and press ctrl j and press ctrl t and right press flip horizontal and replace this one here so select these two wings and make it like that yeah that's fine yeah that's good and i need to make it a little bit smaller so that's good and here and hit the tick button that's good i think this one is good and press ctrl g for the group and wings so now i'll take a new blank layer and go to the color palette and choose the color like this and hit ok and just take a brush brush size will be 200 pixel hardness 0 percent and here the opacity and flow will be 100 percent and select once press ctrl t and make it bigger so drag it to below the wings layer press ctrl t and make it more bigger and hit the tick button and now blending mode to screen and expand the wings group and here i'll take a new blank layer and right press and create clipping mask and just i'll brush this one reset the brush palette so size will be 200 that's fine and opacity down flow down flow and opacity down and just i'll brush over here so that's good and here this brush these wings take a new blank layer clipping mask and brush over here so it will be more realistic so that's good yeah if you need you can change the yeah that is fine more realistic that's good hit the tick button and now i'll call up this one and then go to the file and place embedded here is a moon and i'll replace this moon here i'll make it a little bit bigger and hit the tick button and i'll give the name and right press restylize the layer and go to the adjustment layer and after that go to the color lookup and from here the foggy night and decrease the opacity yeah that's good 
and fill actually i'll make it like that so that's fine and now i'll select all the layers make it group and make it merge after merging this i'll go to the filter nick collection color effects pro 4 and i'll add another effects from the nick collection color effects pro so this one is another plugins of the photoshop if you need these plugins please check out my video description cross processing from here and i'll choose you have to choose the perfect one to for your photography so this one t01 and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so it's almost done yeah and after that go to the adjustment layer and solid color and choose the color from here and make it in a soft light and i'll make it a little bit aqua so a little bit darker and hit the tick button so it's almost done and now select all the things make it group and make it merge after that make another copy of this layer right press and here is the blending mode blending mode to vivid light i'll increase the uh, sharpness of this one and make it high pass and high pass value will be 0.3 pixel and hit the ok button so press ctrl g and make it group and make it match so our image is so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and if you need the stock download link please check out my video description and all the stuffs i used here i'll give the download link in my video description so check it out if you want to learn more about the manipulation i have another video tutorial so i'll give you that links in my video description and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and until the next video i may say i'll be signing out today bye bye